Hello everyone, Danai here from Danai's Electrical Services and in today's video I will be showing you how to wire a contactor and of course there are some slight variations with the different type of contactors as in this one you can see it has the L1, L2 and L3 terminal, T1, T2 and T3 terminal, it has the A2 and the a1 for the actuator or the coil and it doesn't have any normally open or normally closed contacts on it this one as you can see it has the l terminals the t terminals the actuator all of them also have the actuator and it has the normally open contacts on it some of them will have the normally closed contacts and doesn't have normally open so as you can see some doesn't have normally open or normally closed contacts. This has normally open contacts. Some of them has normally closed contacts and doesn't have normally open. And some of them has both. As in, in this case, where you have all the L terminals, all the T terminals. <coughs> we have the actuator here, A1, A2. This would be our normally closed contacts. Sorry, this would be our normally open contact right here these two are normally open contacts and this will be our normally closed contacts the demonstration that i will be showing you an auto wire and electrical contactor is <coughs> the general straightforward wiring as in i will not use the normally open or the normally closed contact i'll just use the lines coming in the loads going out the actuator but maybe in another video, I will use the normally open contact where I wire the contactor with a start and stop switch. <coughs> so let's just get right into this video, guys. So first, we will go ahead and connect our load, right? Our load will be a three-phase motor. So let me just go ahead and connect my three-phase motor. So I have my three I have my three um phases which is red, yellow and blue. This is this screwdriver is not working out. So this screwdriver is not working out guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and get a different screwdriver. One hour later. Okay, so now I am back with another screwdriver, which should be better. Yep, much better. Go ahead, collect connect my yellow phase and I'm making my connections I try to get as much of the conductor as possible under the contact and try not to get any of the insulator under it So this is our motor or whatever your load may be that is now connected. There you have it, connected to T1, T2 and T3. Also generally we use L1, L2 and L3 as source and the T's as the load but it doesn't really matter in which way you connect it. Now we'll go ahead and connect our source guys please make sure that your source is powered off right make sure that your source is powered off when you are making your connection blue phase connected now time for my yellow phase Yellow phase, and now 
My red face. Okay, so now my motor, my motor is connected and now my source is connected, All right? My, boat, my motor and my source is connected. The next step is to connect my actuator. So this actuator could be a start button, a switch, a breaker, a, it doesn't matter. But this actuator is what will energize the coils of the contactor and cause the contactor to contact and cause current to flow from your source through the contactor to the motor. So let me run through that again. The actuator is what you'll use to energize the coil of the contactor which will cause current to flow from the source through the contactor to the motor. When the actuator is actuated, it energizes the coil of the contactor, causes the coil to contact, thus passing current from the source through to your motor or whatever your load may be. So let me go ahead and connect our connect our actuator. Also, please to ensure that your actuator is not energized when you're making your connection. Remember safety first guys, if you are not trained to carry out these work, please don't do it. I don't want you guys to do something wrong and say, I did, I saw it and then I electrical services and that's what I did. So I make sure I'm warning you guys I'm making sure to warn you guys and now the actuator is connected right it doesn't matter this is alive this can be a neutral or ground it doesn't matter if the live is down here and the ground or the neutral is up here it doesn't matter it's AC it can go either way right so this is it the actuator your load your source right and this is how you wire a contactor there you have it guys this is it pause you have to check the coil of the contactor the rating this one is 220 50 or 60 hertz and that is why we connect it like that we use one of the line which should be around 230 volts and the neutral right there are some that might be 415 depends on the type that you buy um if it is 415 you will use um one of the line here and one of the line here and or if it is a 110 you will use like a 110 line one here and a neutral there so that is how we do it and this is another video brought to you by Danai's electrical services for similar videos to these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at Danai's electrical services thank you thank you thank you